Hi, Jet. Jet just had a fit. He was barking at a tiny dog. Good morning, Internet. Tiny dog fit. <laughs> Look at this face. I'll just sit here now, Mom. Everything's fine. What's that side? Where's your dog? Where's the tiny dog? Where is he? Come on. Let's go. Any seat? Oh, I put a bottle there. Go ahead, try now. There you go. Hi. Hello. Oh, is that your face? Boop, boop, boop. Are you ready to go? Huh? You ready to go? We gotta get fuel. Mm-hmm. And we have to go all the way to Michigan, which I don't know. Have you been to Michigan? I can't remember. Have you been to Michigan? Hey. Have you been to Michigan with me? I don't know. Either way, that's our plan. That's what we're doing. Do I only have 23 minutes left on this thing? Do we have 23 minutes left? I don't know. I don't know what this means. Maybe. Maybe. Which means I've filmed like almost two hours. It rained, but now it's beautiful. Ooh. So let's go drive through that. Assumption. 
And it, it's a safe assumption. I'm not kidding. So I'll go find out and I'll tell you here in a second. Ty not, hasn't even been, it's been 59 seconds since he posted this thing. Um, it's been, I don't know how long. Good game, DAI80. Eight minutes. It took eight minutes for Ty to find this article for me. Not even, maybe seven. Officials said a semi-trailer overturned Saturday morning, closing parts of I-80 westbound. Why did you flip over? Were you going too fast? Uh, the la lanes are closed between Reynoldsville, exit 86, and the exit 81 in Hazen. That's five miles of highway they've shut down. They expect the road to be back open around noon. It is 11.20. <laughs> I don't have to sit here long. <laughs> everything, I, I hate to say this this way, but everything happens for a reason. I sat and didn't, like, I sat and screwed around on Twitter for, like, a good 45 minutes this morning. I didn't, like, rush out when I woke up this morning, like, I'm gonna go. I was like, eh. I'm a lazy bum, and I bet you anything. Well, this could have happened a lot earlier too, so maybe not. Either way, I would have sat here a lot longer had I left earlier. Um, according to Jefferson County dispatchers, no injuries were reported. Well, that's great. You've just affected the lives of so many people. A uh, semi-trailer leaked about 150 gallons of fuel onto the roadway. Good game. At least you get, at least you get full tanks, I guess. Uh, Department of Agriculture was also called. Called since the trailer was carrying frozen food when the crash happened. So a reefer. State police, multiple fire departments, PennDOT officials, and emergency medical services crews responded to the scene. No pictures. I have nothing to show you. Um, the Twitter tries to make your tweet look like a news article one of these days. I'll give in and switch to Mastodon. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, oh, is that a new Twitch? Is that a new Twitter? A new, is that a new Twitter? If that's a new Twitter tie, I might be on board too. I'll see if I can find pictures of this thing and maybe put uh, maybe put it in the, the blog post that goes with this video. It just, this irritates me that people go too fast and cause accidents like this. It's unacceptable. Espe especially on this road. There have been so many overturned trucks on this road lately. And it's, it's not good. It's just not. We need to slow down. We don't need legislation saying we need to slow down. We need to fix the logbook so people don't feel incentivized to go faster. That might be the better thing to do, is to stop incentivizing people to go faster. Maybe. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe stop paying them by the mile. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm just saying. To incentivize people to earn money by the mile, they're going to cram in as many miles as they can in their time. Just a thought. Um, lane is now restricted instead of the highway being closed, so we're gonna give it a shot. Traffic is moving, so we're also gonna give that a shot. <laughs> Let's, uh, get some speed up, though. Man, look at that air conditioner. Pretty intelligent, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know that I'm gonna do that. I don't know what I want to do. I, do. I don't know. I do not, I do not know. I will say that the highway looks good. It's empty so far. Let's go see what we can see. Do, 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 bunk, bunk. Oh yeah, oh no. <laughs> that didn't get very far. You see what I see. <laughs> I see slow traffic ahead. I got my half an hour break in. I got another eight hours on the clock. I ain't in any rush. Woo, listen to that wind. I left the windows down. Why are you flying? There are people on their brakes. Do you not know? Do you not know FedEx? Lord. Now he's figuring it out. God. Oh, now he's got it. Now he knows. Good job, FedEx. Way to fly around that blind corner like a crazy man. All right, I've moved. Not even a whole mile. Maybe a whole mile. All I know is it's a lane restriction now instead of the whole thing being closed. So, uh, I will take it. Uh, I don't think I'm getting pushed off the highway. Oh no, J-A-E, what happened? What happened? Did you break down? What happened? Yeah, it doesn't look like they're pushing people off the highway. Sorry, man. I would, yeah, 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 you're good, you're good. I got you. You're good. I got you. Good call. Uh, what? What is going on up here? People do the strangest things when, like, road conditions have changed. 
You know, like if you notice that people drive like crazy people in the snow, like just leaving their cars in places or like going out in the first place or or taking roads that don't actually aren't roads and that's what's happening right now. Like, let's park in the median because that's an acceptable thing to do because there's an accident and it has shut down the road. But it's okay because I can park here. Like, the rest area. The rest area is full. I'm going to park over here. At least they have, in a rest area, they've parked in, a, in places where they're okay to park. This, this is not safe. This is not good. Traffic's going to pick up again sometime and you guys are going to get stuck sitting here waiting to, like, find another way in. Just a thought. At least I'm not getting kicked off the highway. That's my... That's my yay. I did not want to get kicked out. I don't. I don't. Pennsylvania's full of hills. Their roads are really small. And I don't want to sit in traffic on one of those tiny roads with a bunch of other people that got kicked off the highway. I'll go this way. This is much better. Good luck, person that just got off the highway. You should see the traffic on Google. It's so bad. So bad. Are you tired? Mm -hmm. This is enough play for you. Hmm? Have we delivered our load? Hmm? Did we do all our work? Yeah, we did all our work. Yeah, all of our work is done. Isn't that exciting? Yeah, all of the work is done. Yeah. <laughs> now we need to get ready for the next load. <gasps> Yeah, I gotta go sleep out the trailer because it's a it's a food grade load, right? We gotta go sleep out the trailer. You can't come with me or dog. Food grade, right? I gotta wear nice shoes. Yeah, because I can't wear my flips. And then we have to go get you more food again because your mom is a bad dog mog, mog, dad dog mog, and I uh, ran out of dry food. So thankfully there's one right down the street. We were at the TA in Battle Creek, Michigan, which is the second TA that I have found recently that cleans up their own lot. Yes. Thank you, Battle Creek, Michigan. Thank you very much. You ready? I gotta go sleep out a trailer. Oh, look at that face. Look at that face. Is this mine? Oh, it's mine now. Alright, I have to sleep out this whole trailer. It's tip to turn. Tip to turn. Tip to... Tip, turn. 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 Tip, turn
to stern. Actually, I was supposed to say stiff. I can't. Today is not a talking day. Let's just start there. So anyway, I need to sweep it um, because, sure, the floor looks kind of clean, but look, there's like little stuff like this, right? And then you ask, Allie, why is there a Panera bag all the way down there? Or do you? Did you ask that question? I am. This is what the Panera bag is for. Actually, put your trash in. Ta-da. How hard was that? It was not hard. All right, so I'm gonna sleep this whole bad boy out all the way, all the way down. And then I'm gonna put it all in the bag. That's the plan. Watch, we're gonna do it. And I'm using a broom. I'm not using a, a power blower thing like some people do. And they're like, oh, it's so easy. Because I wanna work out. Because I would like to stay this size. <laughs> quote-unquote clean trailer right like there's metal shavings in here there's glass in here there's a bunch of like sticks some paper there's rubber right now I could just sweep it all out and into the grass but I'm not gonna I'm gonna pack it up in that bag and then throw it out in a trash can because that's the right thing to do it doesn't make work for somebody else and then it doesn't incentivize other people to do the same damn thing seriously let's stop Stop being lazy and just throw your shit out. It's not gonna take that much longer for me to just pack it in a bag and throw it out. It really isn't. And it's 100% worth it. If you know that respect that truck drivers are always looking for, taking care of your shit is one of those things that will earn you that respect. So I have a day off today. Me and Jet just went to Petco. I don't have a lot of battery, but I told Steve that I've been wanting to come to a Menards, which is what we're in, Menards. And so he's not here. But I used to still go to Menards. Uh, so I'm gonna bring a, kind of like a virtual tour of Menards. Look at how many lights there are. I'm just in the lighting department. This place is gigantic. I mean like it carries on all the way around that corner and that way. It's crazy. So we're gonna wander around Menards for a little while. I think I found a light for our front hallway though. Look at this thing. That one. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know that I can properly do this without um, bringing Steve. They have an upstairs. Look, it says upstairs over there. <laughs> I don't know. Let's try this chair out. Oh, I'm never buying one of these for my house, but I'll sit in this one. <sighs> yeah, no, I'm sorry, Steve. I could I could walk through this store all day and make a 25 minute video just of this store and not be done. I really like my parking spot. Do you like our parking spot, bud? Boop! There he is! Now that I know how to handle a camera in this hand, I really don't. My battery's dying, so I gotta plug you in. Um, but we are done for the day. We have done nothing. We went shopping, right? We went shopping. And I actually brought the trailer in to get inspected, which is also lovely. And Jet went for a bunch of walks. I went for a bunch of walks with Jet. Um, the sun's setting. And it's rained a couple of times. And now it's beautiful outside. There's a casino over there over there and I thought about going but the reviews are like they take all my money and it's expensive and there's never any room at the hotel. Ooh, was there a spa? I may have missed a completely good opportunity to go to the spa. Brat. Well, tomorrow I'm going to go pick up my load at 8 o'clock in the morning. Oh, I'm going to go to bed. I see people are arriving for their work for tomorrow. That's probably what this is. we go to the truck. Beautiful night though. Did you get it? 
Where did it go? Where is it? Jet's chasing a fly. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Huh? Where is he? Where is he? Okay, while he's doing that, let me tell you this silly story. Um, so, Jet needed more fuel, right? Because he's a dog. Jet needs fuel. So, we went and bought cans, and then realized that the dry food was running out. So then I went and bought dry food. So I mixed the two so he eats it slower, so he doesn't throw up. So, I bought three cans because they were on sale. And you buy two, get one free. And I'm really glad I did that because two of the cans I bought had pop tops, and the third can does not. So we're running off of the second can with the pop top because we finished the first can. Um, so I'm hoping I don't have to go back out and buy him another can of dog food before we go home tomorrow. He has a bag of dry, so he's fine. I'm just, it's just hilarious. I don't have a can opener in here because I took my emergency food box out and turned it into a pants box, which is now in that cabinet. <sighs> Did you get him? Where is he? I don't know, Mom. Where, you didn't get him? No? He can play this game all day. The only problem is now he can't sit down in my seat. I'm gonna have to sit in his seat. Whatever. Did you get it? Oh, so anyway, we're at our pickup. I forgot to tell you that. We're here in Battle Creek, waiting for my load to be finished. She says the load may not quite be ready, but that's okay. We'll just hang out. It's an eight hour drive. It's not like I have to worry about things. I have 535 miles. If I left right now, I'll be there at 5.30. And I'm due tomorrow at seven, so we've got time. Good to God. <laughs> I sat there for five hours waiting for that load. Now, I've been really lucky. I've been doing a lot of drop hooks. I haven't really had to sit for a load for a very long time. So, not every load can be perfect. Uh, but I'm really hoping that we're okay on this one. Because it says I have eight hours until I reach my delivery. Uh, arrival time, this leg is 10.30. Minus two is 8.30. Yeah, that's not good. That's not, none of this is good. None of it. I won't be there at seven o'clock. But the receiving hours are from seven to noon. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully they'll be cool with me just showing up being like, yeah, they loaded me late. Sorry, we'll see what happens. Uh, but they can't, I mean, they're not gonna say no. They're still gonna take it, right? Right, who does that? Either way, we're gonna get moving. Uh, and we're gonna do the speed limit today, for sure, for sure. Cause I have to. <laughs> I can't meander my way there or I won't make it. So we're gonna we're gonna pick up pick it up a notch. Just so that I can get there, get it delivered, and get out. It sucks because I have a full 70 hour clock and my 14 is ticking because I came here at 8, because I was told to be here at 8, and I wasn't ready. I would have slept in! trailer you probably shouldn't be speeding in a work zone just saying might might be a thought that's okay I got a big truck coming up next to me he thinks he's better than a work zone too how are they how do I know they're speeding you ask oh god can you stay in your own lane too please uh, because I'm doing the speed limit simple as that speed limit is 50 in through here and it sucks I get it but that doesn't mean that you have the right to speed through the work zone, especially in Ohio. God, guys, you get pulled over at any second just because an officer decided he wanted to come pull you over. That's not hard for them, and they will. They will happily F up your day. In the beat. So yeah, can, can we just not? I know it sucks. I have somewhere I really need to be. I would like to be making really good time right now. We've gone over that. But speeding in a work zone is not any better. Just like that guy that rolled over the other day made me mad. Speeding in a work zone isn't better. See, look. Now I gotta move over in a work zone. Because there's a guy on the side of the road. And watch, I'm sure some car is gonna get mad. Oh, as you're doing the speed limit. Oh. Here he comes. Look, look, look. 
Seriously, just do the speed limit in the work zone. It's not hard. It's really not. I'm just saying. It might be a good idea. Especially in Ohio. That's a government plate, isn't it? Yeah, I know. There's nobody working here. I get it. But at the same time, it's not my choice. They've set up the work zone. Don't speed. Just saying. Go fast when you go fast. Go slow when you're supposed to go slow. before I left on vacation. When I leave for like an extended amount of time, because this is about two weeks we're leaving, um, I prepare my truck to sit. Um, I have to go, thank you for reminding me, I have to go unplug the fuse in the refrigerator so I don't get my batteries. But the floors will stank if I leave them. So I have taken the time to put, it's a, um, it's pretty much just like baking soda for carpets with some extra stuff in it, like OxyClean. And I just cover the carpets in it before I leave. Bye, truck. Bye. I'm gonna have to replace these carpets anyway, so if it's doing any damage to them, then what do I care? They're gonna leave someday. Um, it's really loud out here. But, I'll get you the box. It's right here. Hi, Judge. This is the stuff. Fresh pet, because he sleeps on the floor. Right, bud? You sleep on the floor. Um, so, I'll leave that there, and then when I start again, I have to vacuum it all off of the floor. Um, so I have to remember that I have to add extra time to vacuum my floor when I get back. Right, bud? Right? We're leaving. <laughs> 